Today we're talking about coffee. About a year ago I did a video all about coffee and I showed you guys a bunch of different ways that you can make it in the back country and today I'm going to show you six other ways that you can make coffee in the back country. We've got all kinds of gadgets and coffee makers here that I'm going to show you guys and I want you to stick around till the end because the very last thing I'm going to show you guys is probably the easiest way to make coffee. It's the easiest cleanup and it's probably the most efficient way to make coffee in the back country. So definitely stick around till the end and check that out. The first way we're gonna talk about making coffee today is probably the weirdest way of all of them, but it's very interesting, it's very unique, and it's one that's pretty easy to do. And that's this little guy right here. This is the Jogo coffee straw. The way the coffee straw works is really simple. Here at the bottom of this little guy is a filter and as you can see right here this little filter uh, allows you to just put the grounds for your coffee in your cup pour in your hot water let it steep for four to five minutes and then you literally just dip this down into your coffee and drink it through a straw I will say um, drinking hot coffee through a straw is a little strange for me I did it and I was kind of like eh, I don't know if I like this but I will say it's efficient. It's an interesting way to do coffee, and I have it, and I've tried it, and I don't, I don't know that this is gonna be my favorite way of doing coffee. To be honest, I think this thing's a little overpriced. It's about $25 for this. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Weighing in at only an ounce, uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, it's very easy to use and it's very compact. You can put this in your bear bag easily. Uh, cleanup is simple. It, it's, it's a very unique way to do coffee, that's for sure. When I was reading the comments from the last video, it just seemed like a lot of people were saying, cowboy coffee, cowboy coffee, cowboy coffee. And so I did some research. I'd never had cowboy coffee. I kind of knew what it was, but I really wasn't sure. So I watched a lot of videos, did some research online and noticed that most of your cowboy coffee pots were like at least a foot tall if not taller, and they were rather huge, usually made of stainless steel or aluminum. Um, they are just a little impractical for backpacking. So I kept digging and kept searching, and finally, I found this little guy right here. This is the GSI Enamel Coffee Pot. It's, it's literally the same style pot as you would use for a big pot of cowboy coffee. The way cowboy coffee works is you fill your water up just below this spout right here, you start it to boil, and you put in your coffee grounds, you let the coffee grounds boil with the water. Basically, it removes a lot of the acidity from the coffee, so the coffee's really smooth. And I gotta be honest, I, I genuinely enjoyed the flavor of cowboy coffee. This is 8.9 ounces, I believe. Uh, I'll put the weight below here. It's a little on the heavy side for me for something I would wanna take out into the back country for a coffee maker, but I won't lie, it's kinda nostalgic. Uh, it just feels like an old timey kind of way to do something. Great little coffee pot. Like I said, if you're into cow to cowboy coffee, this is a great option for you. A few years ago, there were some companies like Kuyu Coffee that were making coffee filters that were like tea bags, but they would open up and have little cardboard legs on them that would fit over the ends of your cup and it gave you a very simple disposable pour over coffee filter. I always thought that was a great idea for coffee, but what if I wanna ground my own coffee, but I would like something similar to that? Well, there's a company called Kitchy Outdoors that came up with that very thing. This is the Kitchy Outdoors stainless pour over filter. It's a really cool little filter. The entire thing is made of stainless fabric, like a stainless steel. I don't know if you guys can see what this looks like, but it is a metallic fabric. And then on the outsides, you've got these little legs like this, that are made so that when you open it up, it fits right over the ends of your coffee mug. This thing is fantastic. I think it weighs like less than half an ounce and it's super easy to clean out. And if you don't even wanna have to clean up the filter, you just wanna rinse it out, uh, you can get other coffee filters, cut those down and fit those in here instead. I really like the portability of this. Outside of the straw, this is probably the most portable. It's easily the lightest weight but this is a fantastic option for doing pour over coffee. This next option is probably my favorite cup of coffee 
of all of these. It's also the heaviest, the hardest to clean up. It probably takes the most time to make your cup of coffee. But like I said, this is probably the best cup of coffee of all of them. And that's from a mocha pot. This is my Bellamain uh, mocha pot. I got it for Christmas this past year and I've probably drank almost 100 cups of coffee out of this thing at this point. Delicious coffee. It works in such a way that it, it presses the coffee similar to uh, the way you do an espresso, except it does it reverse. Whereas the steam for espresso comes from the top and pushes through it. Um, this one, you fill this bottom reservoir with water, it pushes up through, and it makes a really, really delicious dark cup of coffee. Let me show you how this thing works. You're simply gonna unscrew the bottom of this. Once you've unscrewed the bottom, you'll notice right here in the top, you've got this really cool filter. That comes right out of the cup. You fill this with water, put your filter back in, and then you fill this area up with your coffee. And with this, you can do kind of an espresso roast or an espresso grind on your coffee to put in there. You literally just take this guy, screw it back on, then all you do is you set this on your heat. Whether that's gonna be from a stove or you wanna actually set it in the fire, both work fine. Uh, depending on how hot it is, you can burn the coffee, so sometimes using it on your stove is a little wiser than putting it over a, an open fire. Now this thing is great, makes an awesome cup of coffee, but I will tell you, it weighs over a pound. <laughs> and uh, the cleanup is just insane. It really takes a lot of work to clean this thing up. It's very involved. It takes a lot of time. It can take upwards of 10 minutes to make a cup of coffee. Uh, so it's a lot more work. But if you're all about the quality of your coffee versus how much time it takes or how much work it takes to clean it up, this still may be an option for you. It is heavy. It's bulky, it takes up a lot of space in your backpack. But I know people that love taking these on backpacking trips with them. And if that's you, definitely check these out. I'll make sure there's links below for every one of these coffee makers. Some of those will be affiliate links, some of them won't. But definitely uh, uh, check out this coffee maker. If you want it for your house, it's worth it. Great cup of coffee, uh, definitely a question mark for the trail. For a lot of people, a good French press of coffee is the best cup of coffee there is. And I myself am a huge fan of the French press. I have one at home. I actually have a backcountry French press that I actually talked about in my last video. And I really enjoy the French press, but what I don't enjoy is the size of the press itself and the extra weight of taking that plus my mug with me. And so for me, finding something that could replace that is huge. I did the AeroPress, which is also a great way to make coffee, but it's a little cumbersome, takes a little bit of work and a lot of cleanup. So that wasn't really working for me. And then I found this coffee maker right here, the GSI Java Press. This is pretty awesome. It kind of takes the best parts of the AeroPress and the French press and puts them into one cup. The way this works is really simple. You've got a two chamber set up in this little coffee mug right here. The way it's set up to work is you're gonna pull off your top part, you're gonna put your coffee and your grounds right into this little container right here. Then after you put those in there, you're simply gonna set this on top and let it sit for a few minutes while that coffee steeps. Then after that's done, you're literally just gonna press this top part down and as you push that down, the coffee's gonna come right into the mug leaving all of your grounds at the bottom. What's great about this is it's a whole lot less cleanup than say an AeroPress or your typical French press. Plus, this is your mug. It's all in one and it really works well. It comes with an insulated cover, a rubberized bottom that allows it to sit really well on things, a good lid that goes snug and allows you to attach a carabiner to it. So if you wanna have it hanging off your pack, you can. One of the things that may sound like a bad deal with this is the fact that it weighs right around nine ounces. I don't think that's a problem though and let me explain why. When you bring this with you out into the backcountry, you don't need another mug. This is your mug. So you're bringing not only the press, but you're also bringing mug. 9.6 ounces split between the two is a whole lot different than an eight plus ounce coffee pot plus a mug. The weight is not that big of a deal. You're probably looking, you're gonna carry about a three or four ounce mug. You've got about a four or five ounce coffee maker. It's really not a ton of weight. And if coffee is important to you, this may be a great purchase for what you're looking for. And this last way of making coffee isn't really like a coffee maker, 
but I wanna say this last way of making coffee is the most efficient, easy to clean up way that you could ever make coffee. And it's just this little guy right here. Several months ago, I was seeing a lot of Instagram posts and YouTube videos and just online commercials for this coffee concentrate. And so I got online and checked it out and I discovered this stuff right here. This is Jot Coffee Concentrate. Uh, now, again, not sponsored by these guys. I'm actually a, I'm actually a paying member of the company. I, I get coffee delivered to my house every month and I have found that this is the easiest way to do coffee in the back country. All you have to do is pour a tablespoon of coffee into your mug, fill it the rest of the way with hot water, and you're done. There are no grounds to clean up, there's no trash to throw away, there's just simply coffee concentrate and you're done. It's the easiest way to clean up, it's the easiest way to make the coffee, and it's one of the most delicious ways to make the coffee. This is actually really good coffee. I would take this over instant coffee on any given day because it's actual brewed coffee that's been concentrated down. Now, this little guy right here is two tablespoons. And what I will say, the only negative or the only setback to this style of coffee is the fact that it really only keeps for 48 hours after being refrigerated. If you're gonna take this out into the back country, this is probably good for like a three day, two night trip where you're gonna have coffee two mornings. Uh, after that, you probably don't wanna do it. You probably could get away with it all, in all honesty. It's not suggested though. And I've not really pushed that envelope on it, but I have used this on a three day trip have had two cups of coffee two days in a row, and it's been phenomenal. This little container with the coffee in it weighs about 1.6 ounces. I got the container at my local Outfitters. For less than two ounces, I've got my coffee maker, I've got my coffee, all right here. What a killer setup. I, I really believe this is the easiest way to do coffee in the backcountry. I think it's kind of revolutionary, honestly, and I can't believe more people aren't talking about this. If you want to check out past videos I've done about coffee, check out this video right here. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around.